Jesus out for a month. Breaking news. I don't know if that's breaking news yet. No, no. So Arteta, no, no. Arteta in his press conference actually said. So what happened was he when he came in the morning, they had to evaluate his knee, and he's actually going to go for treatment and potentially another operation. Wow. But he is out for weeks. That that was confirmed by Arteta. It will be weeks. When did Arteta weeks. say this? In his press conference. Um, Are you conference. serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said I definitely had a notification about it. Oh my God! Let's go into Arteta's press conference right now. We can't even look at the game. We just got to go straight into the press conference conversations. Are you serious? Is that? Bad? Yeah, Fabrizio tweeted it. So he said he had an, a little procedure this morning. He's injured, unfortunately. He's had some discomfort in his knee that caused him issues, and he had to go. He's going to be out for a few weeks. So if you go oh into Fabrizio's... Oh my God! This is Trossard's time. Trossard, Martinelli, Saka. That's my starting. That's my starting team. I'm looking at this right now, and I am concerned, ladies and gentlemen. You're telling me Arteta on Gabriel Jesus. He has a knee injury. He had a little precaution this morning. His his injury is unfortunate. Uh, he had some discomfort in his knee, causing some issues, and he's going to be out for a few weeks. This is going to set people into panic. This is going to make people panic, ladies and gentlemen. I am not panicking. Because I believe Trussard and stuff can hold it down. But Eddie today missed way too many chances for me to be starting. I think we got to go with Martinelli, Trussard, and, and Bakao Saka for the beginning of the season uh, until Jesus gets back. And and I don't know how we're going to do it, but I think Trussard's a quality player. He can play anywhere. So let's let's get let's get him in there. That's my solution at least. What do you what are you guys gonna do with Jesus' injury? Because this is concerning. I'm concerned now. Forget about the game for a second. I agree. Trussard, false nine. That's what we got to do. Balogun is going. 100% Balogun is going. He didn't play. He didn't play. If you have Jesus in your fantasy team, get him out. <laughs> Yo, what are you saying, bro? Jesus you know what? I'm, I'm actually not as panicked as many are. Um, there's a few reasons behind that because firstly, you've got Trussard. But you know, the solution for me is even if we look at Martinelli and wanting to ease him back, because don't forget he did have an ankle injury coming into preseason. And he was actually out for the start of the summer in terms of just their sort of training and stuff behind the scenes. So even if people are concerned about Martinelli not being able to start the season, what we should be doing, and the, for me, the best solution is putting Eddie and Ketty as the winger and bringing Trossard into the middle. Because when you look at Eddie and Ketty and his performance today, a lot of it was great movement and actually okay build-up play. But the issue was he can't finish. Whereas a Trossard is more elite in front of goal. And that's what we need to be doing. Plus, that means there's going to be a midfield shake-up as well. And Havertz, for me, is going to be even more important to start the season. And that's the reason why I'm not that worried. Yes, of course, you know, Gabriel Jesus brings us to a whole new level. But, yeah, Eddie on the wing, that's what I would do, personally. If Only if Martinelli's not ready for the start of the season. I think Martinelli should be ready, but regardless, Trussard starts for me. Yeah. I I don't I I don't I don't think there is anybody better than Trussard at this moment in time to be to be coming into that situation and helping us. People are saying, "What are you guys not? Are, have you guys not been reading what's been going on?" I was shocked myself this morning when I heard the news that Jesus is injured. I thought it was just a precaution, but this is actually a big problem. Uh, you got. Uh, physical, uh, physically bullied by the French league team. LOL. Don't claim the Premier League has more physicality. Question mark. What? Didn't so he's you... asking. Didn't you claim the Premier League was the most physical? You know what? The French league is actually pretty physical. But at the end of the day, these guys, these guys, uh, Monaco were playing really rough. Uh, you gotta give it. You gotta give them credit. Not every team plays the way Monaco played. Uh, I'm not sure the whole French league plays the same way. But hey, it is what it is. Today. They were a physical team, but don't act like don't act like we were out there with many of our starters. If I'm not mistaken, they played majority of their starters for that game. Pretty much. Um, yeah, majority of them start, maybe one or two missing, but on a whole, that's as close to their starting eleven as possible. And this is what you want. In a preseason friendly game, you want to face different types of teams. You want to face a team that plays low block. You want to you want to play, play a team like Barcelona who holds on to possession. You want to play a team like like uh, lower down the table that that are going to be that are going to be physical. These are the kind of games you need for preparation for the season. That's why I'm saying the next game is not a preseason game. This was a this was our last preseason game in my opinion. Yes. But yeah, Gabriel Jesus being injured is going to be a problem. People saying replace Balogun for Balogun for uh, Zinch, uh, for 
uh, no nah, man that's not happening it's not ha it's just not happening like i know i know some people make up uh, want want something else to happen but that's just that won't happen i don't see that happening at, at all like unlikely very unlikely do you know but, do you know do you know what though like there's a part of me that i know it's a cynical part of me that's thinking this is Balogun's chance and i genuinely do think that don't you think Balogun's gone I don't. I think this changes a lot, because if we're being absolutely real, we need to quickly come up with eighty million to hundred million pounds to be able to get you know Victor Osherman in. I don't think we're going to be doing no stopgap signing for a striker. We're going to be going for a striker we've always wanted. Whether that's now Ivan Ferguson or whether it's someone like you know Victor Osherman, it has to be somewhat of a high profile. No, but um, did you not see what happened yesterday? They said this about Balogun. This was what they said yesterday about Balogun. They said, um, if I'm not mistaken, Arsenal's asking price, uh, Arsenal have to basically drop their asking price in order for the player to be sold, where uh, Inter are now looking at uh, Skimaka as an alternative. And guess what? Uh, ironically, now that Inter are looking at Skimaka, West Ham are looking at Balogun. I mean, West Ham got the money. They can pay 50 million. I, I, I think Balogun is gone. The fact that the man hasn't played, he's gone. People talking about kudos. Guys, we have to get rid of players before we bring players in. It's really un, un, untenable to continue to sign players before you get rid of players or else you're going to get... I think, I think kudos could be done without sales. Um, it's just whether we get, then get David Raya is where the question marks are going to come in. We're going to have to talk about David Ray in a second. Let's get, we're going to go back to the game, but just one more thing. West Ham could make a move for Balogun as reported by ex-West Ham employee. This is not, this is a very reliable journalist here in ex-West Ham employee, one of the biggest West Ham sources, but I still don't think this is etched in stone that they're going to make a bid or anything like that. It's just saying they could make a move. He's just putting it out there. That is a possibility. Let's see if it picks up any steam. Now, Moving on to the game, we got to get back to the game. We got to talk about a couple of players, right? He, this is an explosive interview. Like you think I'm joking? He went in. Okay, so yeah, this this is the first time I'm reacting to this. I've seen comments, but I've not seen it. Okay, okay. so first he spoke about Jesus's injury, and this is what he said. All right. Unfortunately, he had a little bit of procedure this morning and he and some discomfort in his knee, causing some issues and result. It's not something major, but will go uh, go out for a few weeks, I think. Right. And then he spoke about his injury. Right. And then he spoke about when it happened. Obviously, he spoke about Barcelona. But this is the key part that I found very interesting. He spoke about the injury and also uh, directed the Balogun part to the injury before I get into Baka Osaka. Now, this here is interesting, right? If Jesus' injury changes any plans with Balogun, this tells me Balogun is gone. He is gone, verbatim. The plans with Flo Balogun doesn't change at all. But unfortunately, with Gabriel's injury, we are not going to have him. We have other options to play in different uh, with different qualities of players. So we will adapt. Balogun is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Forget about the guy. If there's nothing more clear than that, he is gone. This is why I said it was explosive. People don't... He never gives you straightforward answers. But this is as straightforward as possible. He is gone. So to the Tommies of the world, I'm sorry. Your boy Balogun is getting sold. Forget about him. This is this is clear as day. Have you ever seen him go this serious? Well, we don't know what the plan actually was to begin with. Bro, this is... They asked him quickly, straightforward, on if Balogun's injury changes any transfer plans with Balogun. Meaning that, do you plan on keeping him? Yeah, yeah, but the, the reality is we already knew if a big... But that's with any player in the squad. If a massive offer comes in for any of these players, even Thomas Party. We sell, but doesn't that mean he's gone? Everyone in the chat. Right, so, okay, but then, but then in that case, I'm going to argue Thomas Party is still on the block because if, for example, a bid for forty to fifty million comes in for Thomas Party, I see him going. I don't think he he said he doesn't want to get any weaker, and Thomas Partey, Jorginho, and Rice are part of his plans for next season. This is straightforward, saying, bro, I'll sell your ass. But when when has Arteta said the plan is to sell him? 
He's not. He's not saying he's planning on keeping him. He's even mentioning. That's what I'm saying. We don't know. This is the final part. You have no idea. We have other options to play in different qualities. Uh, different qualities of players. So we will adapt. Why is he mentioning adapting? Why is he mentioning other players? Why doesn't he just say Balogun is a quality? Because you don't. You're not going to come out and say whether he's on for sale or whether he's not for sale. This is. You're just not going to make it obvious. Clear cut, telling me he's gone. We'll see. I, I, I still look. I'm not saying he isn't going to be sold. But I don't think that is genuinely the clear cut plan. If, like I said, if someone bids fifty million, then yes, they're hundred percent taking it. But if it's any less than that, I don't see him going. People are saying there's updates coming out that it's going to be a month minimum. What? A month? Where Where are you getting this update from? I don't okay. see anything. I, I thought you. I thought I had a chance to look. <laughs> nah, but to me, this means he's gone, bro. I believe this this quote tells me Arteta has other plans for the guy. And and that and those plans are him to be away from the club in my opinion. I don't I don't see this I don't see this coming out as anything but an admission that he's going to be sold. That's just me. And I believe a lot of you guys probably read it the same way that I read it. I don't think anyone here is sitting here reading that and saying, "Oh, he's somebody he he wants to keep him." He's saying that because he wants to keep him. No, he's saying that because he's keeping the door open for him to get sold. I've never denied that. I said, yeah, the door is open for him to leave. But I don't think it's as clear cut as, yeah, we just go. But I just don't, I just hope it's not Eddie and Ketia. Because if that's the sword he wants to die on, he better fucking produce. If he doesn't, Arteta's got questions. Okay, people in the comment section, let me know if you guys agree with me or if you agree with Souls. Who, who do you think is right on this one? Sack the medical staff. <laughs> the medical staff's going anyway. Um, it's not the medical staff, bro. It's that guy from Barcelona, that idiot that, that people think is as good as Saliba. Uh, Egal Jesus will be out for a month. We'll have to wait and see. Balogun needs to keep up. Uh, Balogun to be kept play and played. Jesus is out for a month. We know there is go going to be any setbacks. We uh, You can buy Lukaku from Chelsea. We don't want Lukaku, bro. We don't want Lukaku. Ego, stop dreaming. Jesus is out. Uh, the plans uh, for upcoming games now, we need a freaking striker. We're going to have to adapt. As Mikel Arteta said, we're going to have to adapt. It doesn't look like we're going to buy a striker, guys. Um, now, let me just give you guys some quick updates on Zinchenko's injury. I think he's close, and he's going to uh, start training uh, with the team. Hopefully, he'll be back very soon. In other news, spoke about Bakayo Saka not featuring in the game. He said he was fine, uh, but afterwards uh, he wasn't feeling great on the bench, and we didn't want uh, to use him. I think he'll be, uh, he had a sickness or some illness, so could not use him. Understandably so. And then, of course, he spoke about Aaron Ramsdale's performance. <laughs> wink, wink. We know why people are talking about Aaron Ramsdale's performance on if there's still. Uh, his uh, what if Ramza is still in his plans? Yes, it's still the same. Um, then he also spoke about Raya. Um, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to talk about players that are not here. I'm sorry. And then, is there anything else? No, that's it. But guys, I thought that was explosive. I don't know if you guys am I overdoing it? Am I kind of over, no, over dramatizing this? Is, this, is, this, the is fair, no, no, but this is a fairly standard. Let's be honest. This is standard from Arteta. Bro, that is that is crazy. How is it crazy? Like, bro, that is crazy. Is crazy. He went. He went and fully said. He went and fully basically kept the door open for the guy to be sold and didn't. So, okay, even okay. Let me let me ask you the question, right? So if the plan if the plan was always to leave the door open to get him sold, how is that explosive? Because he's saying no. the plan has a what, chance. He's already what is, what is explosive is the final part. Gabriel Jesus just got injured. We don't know the extent of his injury and how long he's out for. He goes on and says, we're going to have to adapt and we have different players. When you fully have a striker there who scored 20 goals last season, who people are basically saying, let's keep him, let's keep him, let's play him, let's do this. And he's basically saying, you know what? Nothing's changed. Balogun is basically, in my opinion, the way I read this is, he's basically saying Balogun is going to get sold and we have other players who can play with qualities, different qualities that can adapt and get into that situation in the striker role. So basically to me, what I'm reading it as is we have Eddie, we have Trossard, we have we have uh, Havertz who can play in that position if need be and Balogun is asking get sold. That's me. I don't know if you guys agree with me or, or if I'm talking crazy. I wouldn't say it's explosive. I'd say 
it's quite normal. Like if you look at an Arteta like press conference, even without trans, it's standard. It's nothing new. <laughs> Someone said standard Arteta waffle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not waffle, but yeah, it's it's standard. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video on Eagle Talks Football. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what you just watched, and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 25k, and let's try to get to at least 30k maybe by the end of next season. And as of right now, I bid you guys adieu, but don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Mm -hmm.